form, future, whatnot? Yeah, it's always a blend. Um, and, and, you know, there have been a number of discussions over the last two weeks, really, that we started formulating um, probably where we were going with, uh, with the selections. Um, you know, and, and the playoff games always carry a little bit more weight. You're playing at a, at a slightly higher level, a little bit more pressure, um, but there's a lot more pressure to come. So, you know, there's a number of guys in the squad who aren't pressure tested and, and we're pretty keen to learn a bit about them over these, these, next, uh, these next, next three test matches. Um, look, he's in the squad, you know, and and if you're in the squad, you're a chance to to put the boots on in a, in a 23 at some stage during the during the three week period. Mm-hmm. Kurtley's uh, Kurtley's played well. Feedback from the force has been really positive about his influence, um, and uh, even talking to the guys like Ben Donaldson, um, you know, it just frees Ben up. To see what he needs to see, and and uh, and leave, you know, the wider the wider spaces to to Kirtley, to to boss, and that 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 synergy is something that's really important in in teams uh, because it, it it needs a bit of trust, but it also takes a bit of pressure off uh, one person being the hub to see everything that needs to be seen. Those that have already declared they're going to leave never considered selection. Um, I, I'd say we were keen to invest in the guys who are investing in in the future here, um, and and an investment in them I think is is a longer term. Um, it, it has a longer term payoff, and in the short term, um, we'd like to think there's a bit of a payoff there anyway. We, we like some of those some of those guys we've selected, and and some of the guys who aren't there. Um, there was a real contest for a number of those positions anyway, uh, whether, it, whether it be up front or in the backs. Um, and, and, you know, th- there could still be some movement between now and, and the rugby championship. Uh, Joe, there's, there's not just the lead guys, there's probably half a dozen of young mates overseas as well. Were lines put through all of them, really? Like, if you're going, that feels like the lack of investment kind of thing? I don't think we put a line through anyone. Um, you know, we've had discussions with a number of them, um, but they're taking a path, and, and, and it's their chosen path, and we've decided to take a path. Um, but that doesn't, that's not at the exclusion of people, it's, it's at the inclusion of those guys in this immediate future who are invested in Australian rugby, and, we, and, and we're very keen to invest in them. Um, I, I've had some great discussions with with some of the other guys and and um, you know the, the door has not been slammed on anyone. Yeah, Phil Moore's spoken about the importance of getting back to winning the next test rather than looking ahead. How does that philosophy marry up to the fact that everyone that's leaving the Knicks isn't part of this Knicks squad? Well that that would be on the basis that that you think they should be. Um, and and that's that's a decision that we've taken a lot of time to, to come to. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we've demonstrated a faith in the guys that are here. And, um, you know, I, ge- I guess we'll find out in two weeks um, just how competitive the group can be. It, it's it's going to be difficult. Um, you've got five new coaches. Uh, I, I'm meeting some of these guys actually on the grass for the first time in Brisbane. and. You know, to have four days there and then uh, a couple of trainings before we play Wales, um, you know, gets to spend a lot of time in Wales. He knows some of those players really well, and and there's a there's a continuity and rhythm to what they do. So so we have to build a, a rhythm very very quickly. Um, so I, I, I've never been one to make big promises. Um, uh, only that that we'll be working really hard to try to get as much rhythm as we can uh, but by July 6. It's a long time since we've seen the names Liner and Massa in a, in a Wallaby squad. Yeah. They've obviously been picked on on form though, not just on their surname. Yeah, and and, and very much in, in discussion, you know, I'd, I've coached a lot with Les in the past. Um, I, th- I think he's doing a super job up there. The feedback from the players is really positive about the Reds environment and, and I 
I, I think right from the start of the season, Tom, he's, he was hitting the ball long. Um, he's a courageous uh, man. Anyone who gets up as, I wouldn't say quickly from Semipeni Finau hitting him, but he, but he got up um, and continued to play. Um, and, and he challenges the line. Um, he, he, he's got good acceleration. Um, so, he, you know, he's young and, and he's still got a lot to learn. And we're going to try to fast track that learning over, over this next four weeks, really. Yeah, I think it's it's a massive pinnacle event um, for Rugby Australia, and um, I, I had a, I had a discussion with Corey, and Corey was happy to to um, prioritise in the short term the this the Olympics, and then um, yeah, I, I think Corey will will be a a real um, kind of asset to us um, if selected beyond that. Yeah, I think anyone was tempted to pick Tim Ryan, um, and I had a super conversation with him uh, around selection and around his readiness for selection. I think one of the one of the uh, things you've got to be just a little bit wary of is the temptation to um, be tempted by the excitement of a young kid who plays really well, and then uh, the reality of a readiness to play at that level and the, the sort of players that he's going to come up against. So um, within that discussion, uh, you know, Tim has done a great job for the Reds and, and we'll enjoy tracking him and, and potentially um, Tim being involved at some time in the future. But, uh, you know, Derby, uh, his speed is very, very good. Um, he is uh, a very good defender post Post tackle puts a lot of pressure on, um, and I I just think that it's a great opportunity for him to get in and and learn a bit of his craft in a in a Wallabies environment. Who is the toughest exclusion? Ah, uh, a number of them. I, I don't think I, I could label one individual exclusion. Um, you know that you go through it positionally, and and there are tough exclusions. You know, I, I think Ryan Lonigan. Um, he, I, I think it's a matter of time with a guy like Ryan Lonigan, but the, but the experience of those other guys, particularly with, um, you know, a, a less experience in our teens, um, it, it's about trying to find a balance. And um, you know, so that, that, that's a tough conversation. But you know, there, there was a number of them. Um, you know, this. I think. I think. Darcy Swain, he's done a great job calling lineouts and, and running the lineout for the Brumbies, which is a, a really strong lineout. And so, you know, um, I, but I could I could go positionally and, and just about work my way right through um, the the whole list. And that's a good thing, though. Uh, you know, if if the decisions are tough, then hopefully we've we've got a squad that that um, has a little bit of depth to it. Yeah. The first quarter, really, you know, like the Reds, um, you know, just that first quarter, they 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 got um, just too far behind and built their way back. Uh, they had enough 22 entries. I thought when Matt Fazler missed out on that try, I thought that might have just um, given them a little bit of reach on the scoreboard to get a bit of confidence to go after them. And it was the same with the Brumbies and the Blues. Um, you know, that first quarter, if you take that first quarter out, it was it was a bit more competitive than than the score looked at the finish. So um, for both those teams and, and the Rebels, there was nothing in that at half time. Um, you know the Hurricane scored late in the first half, and, and the Rebels were right in it until then. So you know the teams that did qualify, they they all showed a, a real competitiveness. Just you got to get that for 80 minutes, and and that's one of the massive challenges against really good teams because they they can very quickly put the scoreboard out of reach with the firepower they carry. Yeah, 
really concerned coming out of the World Cup. I know there's actually not uh, a huge number of guys who were there, but that there would be scarring from that World Cup experience. I'm assuming you'd have to address that when you came in. Yeah, but I, I think there's definitely uh, a, a little bit of uncertainty and, and lack of confidence that, that we'll have to build through the next four days. And that, I know that doesn't sound like a lot of time. Um, it, it's probably because it isn't. Uh, but I, I think the quicker we roll our sleeves up and focus on what we can achieve rather than what wasn't achieved, then I, I think the sooner we can start to build that confidence. And in the, in the end, if, if we can win a few really good moments of training and build confidence through that, uh, then, then hopefully, you know, the last time we played Wales, um, it was 40 points to six, which is, you know, a pretty devastating scoreline for for a Wallaby side. As Kirtley feel, not many people would have thought that he would have come back into the international record. What's pleasant and surprised you about him? When, when, when was the first time that you thought, hang on, he might actually have a bit more value to add to the international Um Oh, there's been a few times. I think, you know, the one probably sticks in my mind the the, the force they were playing uh, left to right, and he, he looked that side. There was nothing on. He swept back around the other side. Uh, ben Donaldson decided to have a crack at a gap. Got the ball through to Kirtley. Kirtley just came straight off his left shoulder, um, and he, that I don't know. Sons de jeu, the, the uh, kind of game sense. It's hard. It's hard to coach that. It, he, he just sees the game. Um, sometimes I think as as players get older, they they see it, but um, maybe st struggle to land it. But but he's been landing it pretty well, and so so that that, that was part of it, um, particularly around you know the feedback from the force around the confidence he was giving other players. Uh, and we had a number of the force on, on the grass last week, and, and and there was really positive feedback about his influence. Joe, are you concerned about the lack of depth at Type Five in terms of experience? Depth. There's only I think two locks who've got um, international caps, and what five or six front rowers who are unavailable through selection. Uh, sorry, through injury. Yeah, I, uh, I tell you what, I have got. Though massive confidence in in Mike Cron and and, and Jeff uh, Parling and and uh, and Laurie Fisher, to whatever we have got to make the most of it, and um, I, I've met those players, and I just think that we've got to back ourselves to get the best out of them, and they've got to work hard enough to get the best out of themselves. So that's it's probably as simple as I can make um, the plan. Um, and uh, you know I've been coaching internationally probably for ten years, professionally for more than twenty, and and I, I know there's times where you look at it and you think, wow, um, there's there's not a lot of experience here, and that's a risk. And and counter counteracting that is the amount of experience in the coaching team. Um, some would say we're even old. And um, and uh, I, I know I qualify. <laughs> I'm feeling old this morning um, or, or this afternoon, just because you know it, it's it's been a, a lot of a lot of work going into um, trying to make selections and getting a balance of um, what we know about players and what we think we can find out about players over this next very short period of time. Joe, uh, Alex Hodgman. Yeah, I've never talked to, to Alex about that. Um, I've coached Alex uh, briefly. Um, I, I kind of uh, went in to help out the Blues when um, when Tana had a year off and um, helped with the defence. And you know, Alex worked really hard, works hard on his game. Um, and uh, you know, I think he'll be pretty excited to to, to be in the squad with the chance of of potentially being. I think maybe one of four people, um, which is a, an extraordinary little bit of history that he might be able to be part of. But um, in the meantime, he'll also be, he knows me reasonably well, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be understanding that it's going to be a
pretty pragmatic decision. Yeah, um, and, he, and, and there's things to be earned, and um, so he, he, he'll be ready to roll his sleeves up come come Monday. Can you clarify that um, Carter Gordon and Martin Longney, who are asking their status in your eyes, their um, suggestion is you know across they're going to defend the earliest they're not going to consider election. Where do they stand now for you? Do you just want them on standby for the rest of the year? Would you be happy to let them go off to their new clubs if, if that's what they want? Yeah, I, I, I think one of the one of the things that um, you know, first of all, with Mark, is that e e even as important as the Wallabies are, as we did with Corey, w one of the things that is a priority this year is is a pinnacle event like the Olympics, and um, you know, Mark may well he, he may well follow that path in the short term, and I I, th I think he'd be a real asset um, for for the Sevens. At the same time, there are some really good sevens players who've played through the whole series. So that's the conundrum for, for John and, and his, his management to, to work through. And then Carter, I think with Carter, um, you know, we've, we've actually got Noah, Tom and, and Ben who, who've all done pretty well this year. Um, some of their percentages are, um, exceed Carter's and, and We've just got to be excited about the guys that we have got. Uh, as I've had a number of discussions with Carter, I, I really like him. Um, I think he's a he's a great young kid, and um, you know, uh, I think there could be a um, an opportunity for him to come back at some stage after um, after probably getting a little bit out of his system from from recent times, um, whether it be the World Cup or or, or more recently. Yeah, I, th I think that I, I haven't been part of a discussion on that yet, and and I guess it's something. Um, yeah, I, I hadn't really considered, but but I th I think it it would be something we'd have to talk about if it came up. Uh, I, I, I don't really want to get in their way if they want to if they want to get on. They've chosen a path and they want to get on the pathway. At, at the same time, as I said about Mark, his his is a slightly different situation to Carter, um, but if. if if that was the case, um, I, I guess it, it would it would be a decision for the rugby committee, and and um, and uh, that they may ask me my opinion. Um, but it it'd be something I'd throw back to the coaches because that's that's how we make our decisions. Joe, Joe with Wallaby's captaincy is a prestigious position. Um, last year was a bit of a dog's breakfast, to be honest, wasn't that like? What's your standpoint? Do you think you'll have a, like a co-captaincy? Sort of situation, or we have one, one sort of thing. Yeah, that, that's that's a really tough question. I, I I don't know some of these men very well. I've been impressed with some of them, um, but it's superficial knowledge of them. I haven't I haven't I haven't seen them under pressure. I haven't seen them at training. I haven't seen the way they lead by the actions they deliver. And so, you know, some of those things I, I just I just want to find out a bit about. Um, I, I've leaned on Laurie a bit. Um, he knows them uh, better. Uh, you know, Jeff knows a few of them, having been involved with the Wallabies before, and and um, and Mike Cron, he's he's a good thermometer. Uh, you know, he he gets a, a pretty good feel for the temperature um, ar around other players' um, perceptions of of someone you you might perceive to be a leader. Because I, I think the you know it's one thing labelling a leader. It's it's. It, it's whether people are prepared to follow them and and uh, whether they have real confidence in them and the reliability of what they're going to be delivering. And so, you know, it, it, there's a lot of unknowns there and, and I'm just trying to work my way through it and, and we'll do so over the next four days uh, or, or the four days of next week and, and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll name a captain for, for Wales 1 and, and that may be the captain for the, the July test, or, or it may not be, depending on um, w what we deem is, is, is the best mix and selection for, for, for the next and the next um, test match. Joe, just, back to Kirtley, just back to Kirtley, is he as shocked as everyone else when you tied in this, this week? 
Um, yeah. I, I, I get to make the 31 calls to the players who aren't in the squad. Um, I, I, don't, I don't talk to the guys who make it. They, um, they, they get uh, Chris Thompson touches base with them. So you'd have to ask Tomo, really, to be honest. Um, I've uh, I've just seen Peachy and 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 Jizz uh, Williams and they seem to be pretty happy. Um, so that's that's two out of thirty eight looking pretty happy. So I'll take the first two and we'll work our way forward. But um, yeah, I, I'm 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 looking forward to catching up with everyone Sunday night and, and getting out on the grass on Monday. And yeah, you know, I, I, I'm just a rugby coach. I I've spent five months waiting to do some rugby coaching. So, um, yeah, I, I'm sure you guys are sick of talking about it um, as well. You, you want to see something. I hope you're looking forward to seeing something good. I, I'm hoping it's going to be worth watching. Um, and all I'd say to supporters is is that uh, it won't be for lack of effort. Um, so, some of these boys have already, have already demonstrated their um, their ability or their capacity for effort, and um, and it's one of the it's one of the um, key aspects that we were looking for in our selection.